So combination is going to be done in the get lettuce variations in our function there. And the first thing I'm going to do is a string called word. This is going to be the one word at a time that we will be constructing. I'll initialize it to empty. And now let's think what's, uh, we are constructing seven digit number with a bunch of letters corresponding with each, each of those numbers. Now we are going to be looping through our letters array, which has all the letters. It, has, uh, it is a, in, it's an array of letters seven levels deep. So, since it's a seven digit number, I'm going to do a for, let me just move it down here, for loop, and I'm going to do integer i1 equals zero, i1 is less than, now most of them has, have, uh, have three letters, but like, again some of them have four, and I don't know which one, you know, whatever the user entered. So I cannot just hard code three or four, because they wouldn't be true for some numbers. So I have to go and uh, use the length uh, property for the for the array of letters. So letters has seven uh, seven indexes or is seven uh, seven levels deep. So this one, the first number is on the index zero. So it's gonna be letter zero dot length, and then it's gonna be i one plus plus. So that's our first number, which we start from first number, uh, which is uh, index zero, and then we go through second number, which is our letter, I'm sorry, uh, which is index uh, one, then another numbers uh, that correspond with uh, index three, and so forth, all the way to seven. So I'm just going to copy paste this, because I'm going to make it seven levels deep. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to make this i2, i3, i4, i5, i6, i7. And of course I have to change all these as well. i2, i3, i4, 5, 6, and seven, and also, of course, over here. Oh, I made a mistake here. It's supposed to say plus plus, of course. So I two plus plus, I three plus plus, I four plus plus, and six, and finally, that's still seven one. But obviously, the lengths change like this. If, if a user entered number two, we have A, B, C for that uh, particular number. So this will be length three. However, if user entered, let's say the next number will be nine, that corresponds with letters W, X, Y, Z. So it will have the length four. So we're not, uh, but it's a second number corresponding with index one. So zero, one, and you know it, two, I'm sorry, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's our indexes in the letters uh, array. And um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is 7 together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 digit number. So now let's construct the word. The word will be simply the this letter plus this letter plus this letter all the way to this letter. So it's going to be seven characters put together. So our word will be, so it will start with letters of zero. It always will be zero because that's the first uh, number that the user entered. It always has to be, if the user entered number three, so it will always be either D, E, or, e, or F. Uh, it simply has to be that way because that's how the phone number is constructed. That's what the, those numbers correspond with the number three. So our index zero will be the first number, but what it is changing, since it has, uh, let's say, three or four numbers, 
we will have the I1 as the jagged array or the second level of the array because that one changes. It will loop through A's first, when it's finished it will loop through B's and when it's finished it will loop through C's. So um, it, uh, I1 will correspond with 0, 1, 2 or 3 if it's four letter, four letter uh, number and so it will be either 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2 or 0, 3 as the indexes over here. And I will make it to string because we want it as a character. So when I'm gonna copy paste this, actually let me just uh, type it for now. The next letter, so this is just one letter, the first one. Now we will add the second one, so we will simply do plus equals, we will add that letter, letters, and this one will be the index one, and the index one uh, corresponds, we can have here letters index one corresponds with i2, so the next index will be i2, and again to string. Now I'm gonna copy paste this, and do index 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So it's gonna be index 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And of course this will be uh, i3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So this is the last 7. And at the end, so this, uh, after this, we will have 7 characters next to each other constructing a 7 letter word. So now we are going to um, write that word into our text file. So we will do system.io.streamwriter and it will equal file, I'll just call it file. And uh, I'm gonna put in a new line so you can see it better. And it creates, it's the standard system that io that stream writer so it will create a new one and we will call the file that we are using write lines txt and if i put a comma there it's asking if we want to append it and we it's true we want to append it because after each loop we have one word and we want to add it after the one that was there before and the next one and the next one all the way until all uh, all of the words are written so we have that and uh, we will simply do the file dot write uh, right line and we will write the word that we just constructed together so we have the word so now it will come back here and construct another one but however over here we already have the word so uh, I'm going to uh, initialize the word again back to empty after each word we construct we write it then we initialize it to zero and go and do the go, uh, next word so um, I think I'm missing a parenthesis or something here uh, four, four, four. Oh yeah, I'm missing a lot of them, obviously, because I never finished the uh, the four loops. Um, so that's one. This one finishes that one. This one, that one, that one. Oops. That one, and that one. And what's this? This one uh, is the main four. So this is all the parentheses. It's kind of a lot of parentheses, but it's basically uh, nested loops within each other, go, uh, trying to get the character corresponding with the number. And uh, so again, this is the first number, or the, the letters corresponding with first number, letters corresponding with second number, and so forth. And we will add it to the word one at a time and write it into our file. And this is actually, ladies and gentlemen, all there is to it. So if I write, uh, run it now, let me do the uh, 
Let me do the haircut over here. So that says it should be 4247288. And if I run it, it does its thing. It's writing the file, going through all the loops and um, uh, doing all the combinations right there. So uh, depends on uh, how fast the computer is. You know, it may take a little while, but it's finished. So now I can come over here and over here in the Solution Explorer is an icon that says Show All Files. So I'll click that and in Bin and Debug I have Write Lines. And I'm looking for the word Haircut. So just to prove that the word was created as part of the uh, combination. Now I have all the combinations for that particular number. So let's uh, do a search Haircut. And here, 1264 is the haircut. So it created that, uh, that word as well, among all the other combinations. So let's try, uh, let's try another one. I'm going to delete this file, because if I don't uh, and run it again, it will simply append again uh, whatever words it will create. So I'm going to do the beer can. I could use a beer. Two, three, three, seven, two, two, six. Let's see if we get a beer can and how many combinations we'll get. And you can see that there's a repeated uh, letters like EE. -E. Uh, so um, two, three, three, seven, two, two, six. One of the combinations should construct the word beer can. So if I come over here and refresh it, I'm gonna close these. Uh, I have the right lines, which is a new one. And you can see that I have 2,916 combinations. So if I search for beer can, and here is my beer can right there. So it again constructed it correctly. I'm gonna delete that. Uh, one thing, um, let's use a number that only uh, phone number that only uses three letter combinations without any four letters, because that way we can prove that it actually constructs the correct number of combinations. So if I use two, three, four, five, six, and then skip seven and do like eight, eight, then um, I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So I'll do two, three, four, five, six, I'll skip seven, and 88, for example, that's seven digits, and each of those digits corresponds with only three numbers. We skipped seven and nine, we're not doing those. And uh, the reason for that is because, uh, oh, I forgot to delete the number, uh, so let me just, uh, sorry, my bad, so let me just delete that. And I'm gonna run it again and do two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight, and it will create a brand new file. And since it has three letter combinations only, and it's a seven digit number, we know that the number of combination is three to the power of seven. So uh, if I, well, I don't know, some config file. If I open the right uh, lines file, I have 2187 combinations for this particular number. So if I open my calculator and do 3 to the power of 7, 2187. And that's how many combinations I have. Again, because this is a 7 digit number. Uh, and each number corresponds with three letters. So it's three to the power of seven, 2,187, and that's what I have. So I can tell that the program creates a correct number of combinations. So let's run one more, just the last one that is, uh, that is on the list here. Uh, let's do the pet care. So when I run it, pet care corresponds with uh, 7382273, and if I run it, we should get one of the combinations will be pet care. Now this will this one will not have 
2187 combinations because there's two sevens and sevens co uh, correspond with four letters so this is actually a combination of three letter numbers and four letter numbers so that's gonna be a different number of combinations so I, it created a file I'll open it and let me see if we have uh, pet care and here is our pet care and by the way we have for this number we have 3888 combinations okay so uh, I'm gonna delete that this is the uh, this is the whole program again this is the use of jagged arrays because we are uh, using different uh, size arrays within an array we do seven digit uh, numbers so we do seven digit seven level deep uh, loop and we construct the word append it to our text file and loop again until all the combinations are done so i hope this was helpful i hope you could follow it uh, the best way to do it is you know just practice uh, type it yourself do a little put it, put a little breakpoint somewhere uh, run it as in a debug mode and see how the program runs line by line so if you liked it please leave a like leave a comment share with your friends and i will see you in the next video take care